So just close the whole book now. So they have come uh, whatever you discussed yesterday, your lesson. Okay, so you take the assignment. When see one medium is going to upload, it's test test one. Okay, that has supposed to be the first test. So you do that as uh, or early practical assignment. And all the points will be done for assignment, plus your test whatever test can be. And uh, from where it is your camp, first test, first one, second test. Everyone, yes. Your first one. I was hearing some different things. Can you start it? Or you might, might be connected to that. So, second, before second, we'll have at least two or three times. All right. Uh, and it will be one will be in your bottom of the session. One and a half hour of test. So, one and a half hour of test. And one test will be of three hours. Will that be okay? You can just take for three hours. Or we'll have three tests of uh, one and a half hour. That's okay. okay. Uh, Thursday, not Thursday, Saturday or Sunday and Monday. Monday I am not here. Monday I am not here. Monday I am not here. What? You want to come with me? Uh, Thursday, do you have chemistry class Thursday? Physics, we are. Physics at what time it starts? So why are you guys cannot come to the some some comment somebody is there online yes sir really so he changed his name to yes sir. nice all right daily so five of them are there online Leave is there. Who's, who's that? Okay, okay, hurry. Up now, there's sunshine. And, and then sunshine is there. And who, who else? Who's there online? I'm that, sir. What? Oh, raindrops? Yes, sir. Okay, raindrops. So you did uh, uh, yesterday's problem? All of you? Sir, did, sir, yesterday's problem. Okay, how much was the answer you got? See, if you guys are not coming, listen to me. If you are, guys are not coming to class, okay, then, uh, yeah, your homework, it should be uploaded. Okay, I want that. I want to see what you have done. Because from here, I, I cannot, I can just hear your voice, right? I cannot uh, see what you have done. What set you have done in your notebook, right? Perfect. So we do that all the time, right? Okay, so totally domain range of relation. Okay, domain and range of relation is that's what we have done. Okay, so we have Do you, do you, do you, any of, one of you has RD Sharma? You have RD Sharma? No? At home, you have. You can speak louder. I have got it in the punch. Okay. You have, do you solve it from that? Yes. See, whatever, uh, it was always finish your NCRT. Okay, always NCRT book. Even in some of the examples are relevant. Yeah. Okay, then miscellaneous uh, that that section is available. Yeah. So you can start for this one. It's not like it is out of the list. That will be very uh, Okay, so what was the problem? If, yeah, first, every one of you write 
how do we write her relation inside the form? Just write it down. Right? Write relation domain and range in set builder form. Just write it. Hopefully, everyone can do that. Raindrops. Yes, sir. Tell me relation. How do you write in set builder form? R is equal to curly brackets A comma B uh, is to A is uh, A is equal. Uh, this is what you said. Such that this is called such that. This will be in mathematics. We call it such that. Such that A uh, is uh, belongs to. Yeah, A belongs to capital A comma B belongs to capital B. Okay. Um, what is A and B? A and B is uh, are the two variables. Which A and B? Capital or uh, small? Capital A, capital B. What are capital A and capital B? No, small A and small B are the variables. Okay, these are not variables. We call it elements. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Raindrops, can you hear me or not? Yes, sir. Yeah, so A and B are what? What are A and B? Anyone here? W what is A and B? Elements, right? These are elements. Elements of ordered pair. Relation is always a subset of a Cartesian product of two sets, right? These two sets, what we are writing. A and B are sets. Okay, any doubt? Can you set this side? Okay, the hindrance is okay. Why you are giving explanation? Okay, this is called belongs to. A and B are elements. Because we are writing uh, in this bracket that it represents ordered pair. Okay, because partition product is always in ordered pair. All right? Bhushal Babu. Okay. So now, how you will write domain? Uh, Raindrops, you understood this? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, next is, yeah, tell me domain. How you will write domain? Yeah, domain, domain, yeah. I asked, sir. A, okay. So tell me, how do you write domain? Can everyone write it? Write down. Everyone write down in the group. Write down domain and range in set builder form. Do it. Why it is important? Because most of the time. All done. This is a relation, okay? And uh, okay, I'll use R dash because R will be using for real numbers. So uh, I'll use. So it's a, it's, it doesn't matter. You can use R also, no problem. Yes. Everyone done? Domain. Why? Why you are not saying yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Confused. Huh? Hurry. What happened? Show me. Okay. That. What is this part? And what is this below? What is that? Yesterday we have. Uh, see, are you understanding in class or not? See, the thing is, if you're not getting any point, you just tell me. That is not correct, what you have written. The relation will be right like this. This is a relation. This is domain. I'm just writing D for domain, domain of R. So, so it's not just a domain, okay? It's domain of 
r dash this we can write as see domain is all the elements of that a exclude whatever is defined obviously okay set uh, okay so domain is a okay such that how do we write it how do we process this ah huh? is it like that ha huh. a belongs to where okay sorry sorry where so how do we write it show me a photo so you have written like this a belongs to a that's what you are saying okay how many of you have written this how many you not this goshal babu hari no i have seen your notebook you so this is not correct okay you have also written the same thing no. so what is correct one can anyone tell me okay a such that a comma b a comma b belongs to r dash okay because this is a ordered pair that that belongs to the uh, this condition uh, okay that's how we will write it understood or not and range range of r dash now it will be easier for you guys i hope you can write range all the images of domain that means all the images of a images what b b is the image of a here okay so you write b such that a comma b belongs to relation okay now same thing in pictorial diagram or mapping we can draw yeah b belongs to capital b but not all b are the c if you are writing b belongs to b that means what all elements will be taken not just the images wait 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 this is wrong okay by the way this is wrong you should not write it just let's see uh, in mapping we'll see it again. yesterday we have also seen how many of you wrote this thing anyone show me your notebook so we'll see the map mapping of relation okay yesterday also we have seen so mapping from set a to set b this is set a this is set b see this understanding of this relation and function this is really really important it's very easy but at the same time it's very important once you have understood this then we'll do with real real variable functions then we can go with x and y on okay so understanding of Set A, set B, the range, the domain, what exactly it is, it's very important. Okay, so we are defining a relation. Okay, this R dash from A to B. Set A to B, we are defining a relation, and obviously R dash is a subset of Cartesian product of A and B. Okay, this is always true. All right. Now let's say there are a certain number of elements in A. One, two, three. And four. Let's say here two, three, four, six, nine, twelve. There are some elements in B. So now see here. They these these this this is also called B. Or I can simply just write instead of everything, I can just write B here. And instead of everything here, I just write A. Okay. That's what this small a and capital a, sorry, small a and small b represent. the elements okay that's it. now you can see this domain and range you can see this domain and range and you can understand it from there the set the term a such that a comma b that means the ordered pair a comma b is what ordered pair it belongs to a it belongs to polynomial this is this is not correct i am sorry guys so this is our relation Obviously, this ordered pair must belong to nobody. Correct me. 
Why? Oh, oh, oh. Already I said that this is wrong, right? Yeah, that is wrong, so we'll, we'll just write what it was. What was it? A. Okay, so this is wrong. All right. So the order square A comma B that belongs to the relation. And relation is what subset of partition product of A and B. So it's very clear from the set data form, right? B belongs to this element whatever elements are here and which is the image it should be the image of a that is very important that's why in b we if we simply write like this we cannot cover all the elements right there can be elements apart from this e b e right but these are not uh, the e is not the domain c and d is also not the range but C, B, and D are codomains. Okay, this entire set, set B is and entire set B is codomain. Okay, so write down set B is codomain. Hopefully, this domain range, codomain, image, everything is clear, right? Whatever the image of domain is there, that is the range. All right, range will always be, be a subset of B. Second element of ordered pair is range. First element of ordered pair is domain, as simple as that. See, first element, images, yes, images are range on. Yeah, you have some confusion. See, the first element, this first element A. Oh, 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 oh. This first element A, uh, I know this is incorrect one, but still, this first element A is what? Domain. And second element, this, this is domain. And this is range. And that's how it should be written in set builder form. Okay, now you'll say, why do we have to write in domain? It's a representation of ordered pair. Okay, it's just a representation of ordered pair. All the ordered pair will must, must belong to the Relation. Okay. Right now we are studying only 2D because there are two elements, right? Ordered pair means uh, first element and second element. Right? Okay. Whew. So uh, yesterday we we were stuck to a problem. Right? What was the problem again? What was the question? This thing is clear, everyone. Mapping is clear. How we mapped it? Hurry. It's clear, right? You have to choose a nickname for you. What is it? You guys, it's up to you. Whatever you want. The silent guy. Anyway, just tell me. Understood everything? What was the problem yesterday? Which problem was that? Hey, Murli, you understood? No? No. What was the problem? Set A. See, biology is working hard. Okay, set A is what? Set A is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, B. One, two, okay, 67. Wow. All right. So there are two questions, I suppose. Uh, so first one is B. That means the element, right? B is equal to square root of Y capital. See, when we are writing in terms of variables, sets cannot be written like that. Okay. Sets has its own algebra. That intersection and uh, like that. Yeah. Okay, so uh, B should be square root of A. That's what the problem is. One was cube root, right? I, I suppose you can do that. Or oh, oh, let, let me do the cube root. I'll do the cube root, all right? So tell me the elements of, uh, tell me the relation. 
it's already given so relation will be what so you you write set a set a is already there so b uh, relation from a to b right relation from a to b so what will be r dash so second question is cube root i guess right so we can write the cube root so what will be the cube root what will be the relation 1 comma 1 Two comma b uh, square root of okay only one comma one it is it is one comma one only right anyone is confused because there is no other uh, the relation it should be a should be equal to b if it is that then we can have other relations right got it. Yes or no? Huh? So this is not given. Uh, I gave this in the problem, right? So only one, we have relation one, one, uh, only this relation, we have, right? That means if you draw the mapping, okay? So A to B, we have a relation R dash, okay? And A has one, two, three, four, five, and B has one, two, up to 67. But we have the relation, only one relation we have, that is one with one. So what is the domain? Domain is one, range, one. Co-domain, Hari? Okay, solve this. Ha, 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 yes, yes. So yeah, if, if you guys, if you are still confused, see, range, we first always de define the relation, right? See here, what is written, the ordered pair that belongs to the relation. Find the ordered pair that belongs to the relation. Now come here. The ordered pair, see, this is the relation, and one only this point is defined with this point. Fine. Any doubt till here? So this is A and this is here B. Okay, so this is on only uh, this is the point where the relation is defined. No other point. That means this is not your domain. Okay, two, three, four, five are not your domain. No, uh, and range is always the image of domain. That means whatever B is you, you are getting, whatever B you are getting, that is your range. And that B must belongs to, means A comma B must belong to what? R dash. That means this is your range and this is your domain. Got it? Now solve this one. Those who are online solve this. Uh, the second one, A is equal to cube root of B. Draw the mapping also. Do it fast. This is the defi uh, relation defined from uh, A to B. <clears throat> Anybody want water? So that we can finish our function functions. <clears throat> so it's better now if it is finished this week itself, then we have a lot of time to practice. If you can tolerate me for two hours, that is again a very big question, right? Ah, guys, this Yeah, finished. Show me.
then write a and b you write separately i i i understand you are busy guys those who are online have you finished not yet sir okay do it fast you are uh, you are getting each and every word right what i'm saying yes sir raindrops no idea is still falling yeah mapping will do my map mapping huh Not in the water. Sir, got it. Yep, done. Everyone. Where? Well, Yes, Five is there? Do we have five? Five is there, no? Yeah, yeah. Five. Okay, wait. वेरी बिग वॉटर बॉडी when i was kid i had i had this doubt and still i have this doubt uh, where the where where is the place that universe will end or right this you cannot have a place like that if it ends after that what is there what exists after that it will be a universe yeah anything anything now anything whatever you are saying uh, let's say it is correct but where is exactly that out like everything is a subset right it's not a single set it cannot be a universal set like if there is a universe okay we have billions of universe all right so you are saying okay these universe are it 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 exists somewhere but that place also has to exist somewhere no? and this place also has to exist somewhere so where this thing will end it's it we cannot define it and my mind goes up right up. thinking this over and over and asking my parents my 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 elder brother will try to explain and he'll be like now shut up and if you speak a single word i'll just hang you upside down and he did that no i'm not kidding he did that that's what happened but look from the first day itself she wants 
we need to be hanged upside down. Is that what? Yeah, yeah, I understand. So everything is a subset, right? Now see, sets and subsets are making uh, some logic. <laughs> what, what? See, everyone is ha have this, right? Everyone, uh, see, the more you will expose other than your this textbooks, the more uh, you will use your brain. That's what I'll say. I, I won't recommend anyone just to go with your school textbook. I'll read novels, read history. That's the best thing that you can do. You won't believe me, but uh, I, I, when I was in 11th or 10th standard at your age at this time, I always thought history was bullshit. But now I, I want to study history a lot. Just study, you will, you will, uh, you know, you will understand, uh, you will expand your knowledge. This everything depends upon our history, when our existence is going to end, when anything, when the changes will come. You can all uh, understand this from history. But then, then you can combine history and mathematics, how things are happening. You can combine biology, all the subjects. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. I don't have much knowledge of biology. I liked biology when I was in science standard, but after that, uh, who wants to know? I wanted to be an engineer, so that was there. Okay, so how many of you did this mapping? Finished? Guys, those who are online, you finished this mapping? Yes, sir. Okay. That, that, that language they understand. Raindrops, you're disconnected or what? Yes, sir. I, no, sir. I got it. You got it? Okay. So, I'll just draw the mapping. Will that be okay? So, this is from A to B. That is the relation that is R dash we are defining. In A, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And B has 1, 2, Right? That's what these numbers. Why we are writing only these numbers? Because we have direct mapping with these numbers. Right? 3 with 27 and 4 with 64. See, 5 is not the domain. 5 is not in domain. Why? Because 5 is not defined. In the relation, 5 is not defined. Okay? Got it? All right. So shall we shall we move to next topic that is functions? Or before that, let's uh, sum up this chapter. Okay, just write down some points, guys. Those who are online, hopefully everything is clear. Relations, um, your set, uh, and then the what 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 is the partition product? How do we write in set builder form? Yes. The room, uh, domain. Set all domain. clear, sir. All clear. Co-domain. This entire see now co-domain is entire this one two. 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 6 to 7. Everything is there in codomain. Okay? Clear? All right. Now, let's write down the summary of this chapter. Let's write down summary. That means we are going to write some important points. Write down summary. Write down the first point. What is ordered pair? Uh, let's, uh, let's not write this. What is ordered pair? Yeah, means it should be written in order. Like first, if we are writing first from first set to second set, so the element of first set will come, will write first. That will be the first uh, first element of the ordered pair. Okay, that means if A cross B, A has element A and B has B, so we will writing like this. If we are writing B cross A, so this will be B comma A. All right. Okay. Okay. One thing I think one thing we have missed. Inverse relation we have missed. Okay, write down first uh, inverse relation. Inverse relation. Okay, and we represent it by R inverse. If R is the relation, so uh, inverse re relation is represented by R inverse. That doesn't mean one upon R. Okay, it, it doesn't mean one upon R. Okay, this is just the representation. R inverse, that's how we represent it. So, how you will write R inverse? See, suppose, now now for this problem, for the, uh, let's write a relation, let's write a relation like this, R dash. How do we write relation in set builder form? No, 
how do we write in set builder form uh right uh -huh. a comma b such that a belongs to and and b belongs to capital b that's how that's how we write the relation it's fine bro but it also belongs to the ordered pair so you can also write instead of this you can write the ordered pair okay a cross b because a b a b belongs to a cross b you can also write this both are correct okay no issues don't worry about sorry now r m c for uh, r dash or relation we write like this a b okay so r inverse will be b a the opposite okay i'll just explain with help, with the help of example like suppose we have two sets a b 1 2 3 a b c okay and the relation is defined such that uh such that r dash r dash is a relation or let's write r r is the relation and we are writing the elements 1 b 2 c 3 a okay this is a uh this is the relation so we can write the domain and co domain and range right what is domain here 1 2 to 3 all all elements and uh, if i write just 4 here then 4 is not defined okay 4 is i am not defining 4 here in this relation all right vishal babu what is range here b c and a a b c that means right what is co domain Yeah, yeah, it's all the elements, all the elements present here. Even if I write D here, that is also in codon. Okay, biology. All right. So R inverse is equal to we will write just inverse the elements B one, C two, and A. Okay, this is how we will write inverse relation. Mind it, this is inverse relation, not inverse function. Everything whatever we have studied till now is the inverse. Is of relation, not function. We haven't touched function yet. Yes, yes, is that okay? So inverse. Write down. Write down this one. So inverse relation. How we can write a comma b? Sorry, sorry. It will be b comma a, right? b comma a right such that b comma a comma b the ordered pair is originally we have this no a comma b belongs to um, a cross b i mean sorry a partition product okay that's how we can write or this belongs to the relation because yeah this is correct one this must belong to the relation Okay, we'll see one one more example. It will be more clear. Okay, see why it is relation and not a cross b. I mean a partition product b. We will understand this. R is a subset of a cross b, right? But for R inverse, like we are we are not defining a relation like this. Okay, if this is a and b, this is not the relation we are defining. What we are defining? This we are defining this. it should be from a to b and we'll write r inverse okay this is very important to understand we are not saying it is relation from b to a okay this relation this is not r inverse this we are defining all right what's the difference that is very important right let's understand 1 2 3 6 okay these are the elements in a and in b we have a b c d okay these are the four elements in now if you write if you write a cross b or let's write let's define the relation r is equal to okay one is related with a two with c three with let's say d okay so relation is one a right tell me two c three with d so this is the relation now if uh, if if i'm de defining the uh, in the opposite uh, Means from B to A, okay. So B to A, how we'll write? Uh, sorry, first let's write R inverse. How we will write R inverse? We'll just revert the elements A one, C two, 
d3 okay understood this thing now what is domain what is domain see here the domain domain is of it is too much of information but that's not right so the domain of this r in that is but the domain of this is obviously for 1 2 and 3 so for this domain for 1 2 and 3 whatever the image you are getting that is is your range right and for that value of range only that value of range whatever domain is defined that that's how you will write r inverse okay you cannot write uh, b if if there is a relation like this you cannot write b free so this is this will not come in uh, relation okay if if it's if it's like that so b3 will not come in relation you are getting it or not what 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 r dash but this is r dash only no so these these will be uh, the so these are the domains y2 and y3 and b3 will be of yeah you will just inverse exactly this point a b b not necessarily any point other than b3 whatever the image So the domain of R inverse will be A B and C, and a range of R inverse will be one, two, and three. You guys understood? So re range, write down everyone. Range of R inverse. So this is range, okay? Uh, range of R inverse is one, two, three, and domain of R in so R dash not this is not R dash this is R inverse is A C D. Got it? Inverse is clear. Inverse relation. This is inverse relation, not inverse function. We haven't studied function. Okay, uh, function we'll study after this. Now write down next point. So there is something called universal relation. Okay, universal relation means if you are given one set A. Okay, so whatever the Cartesian product. Of a cross a is that is your universal relation. Okay, this is called universal relation. All right. There is something called void relation. When when it is defined such that there is no element in R, there is no relation. Like if you have elements, the these two sets. Just consider these two. And I am saying the relation is when. uh now these elements are suppose y and these elements are x so y is equal to x square this is the relation that i am defining but there will be no element belongs to that right there there, there won't be right because it is a b c and it is 1 2 3 4 how can it be y is equal to x square it is not possible so that is a void relation okay so that is void relation uh huh now no not set relation Yes, it is a void relation. We don't say null relation. Null we use in set. We don't use it in relation. Okay, got it. So these are the some. Uh, these are some points. And uh, yeah, a cross b. Suppose a, a cross b. Is, so we already know this. Number of elements in a cross b will be equal to number of elements in a into number of elements in. This is Cartesian product. Okay, this is multiplication. This is number of elements. Okay, in Cartesian product will be this. How many number of elements will be there in a relation? How many relations will be there? Okay, so that was the problem. Also, we were stuck yesterday. Not stuck, but I didn't. Also, you can write the relation. Also, it can be written like if you have two sets here, like A to B, you have two sets, and if we are calling this element x and y, so you can write x relation y. you can also use these terms okay relation for like here you can write x y but you have to define x y x you are saying the elements of set a y is the elements of set b okay or if you are for universal relation what it, you can write r x x because from a to b you are defining right all the cartesian product of a to b so that is your what it social All right.
what is next so types of relation we have seen already okay you tell me this true or false i'll write a statement okay a cross a not a cartesian product b is equal to b cartesian product a is possible if a is equal to b is it true or false huh it is only true if a is equal to b okay otherwise it, it, it cannot be even take hundreds thousand lakhs billions of examples right and that to very small examples just change the elements that's it i suppose we have finished this uh, relation relation i don't think uh, anything else do you have tabular form in relation but in form of table you have to write ncrt is it given no let's not cover that let's just you know maybe some other time we can cover it because it's not a very big deal you just write in terms of table x and y that's it okay so write down on problem for homework yeah Have. Write down this homework. Let a is equal to one, two, three, up to fourteen. Define a relation R from a to a by R is equal to. Sorry. X comma X comma X etc. You know, you know this. Or R X comma Y. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Three X minus Y is equal to zero. Where where X and Y belongs to A. Both belongs to A. All right. Okay. Further, you have to do. Uh, draw arrow diagram. That means the mapping. Okay. Find or write down domain, co-domain, and range. Is this problem clear to you all? Huh? Online guys who are online, is this clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear. Now suppose we have missed one point. If number of elements in set A is let's say how much? Or uh, X Y we are already using it. So let's not use that. Let's say M. And number of elements in set B is n, okay, m and n. Then number of relations from A to B. How many possible relations? Number of relation from A to B. How much? How many relations we can take? Yeah, you you yesterday also you said the answer, right? Two to the power of m into is there. Is there in your NCERT also? Right? Yeah, it is there. I sub. I hope it is there. So this is how we, we will prove it when we do your third or fourth chapter. That is, fourth chapter. What? What is that? No, 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 not that. No, no, no. Uh, one is proving some some. What is that? Let, let me let me check. I forgot the name. Sorry. What principle of mathematical induction? That is related. There only you will understand this thing. But anyway, we are going to do it. Okay, that 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 is important for proofs. That chapter. How do we prove it? Okay. All right. So we'll start functions now. Hopefully, relation is clear. Okay, this problem can be there uh, for one mark. It can be. They can ask how many relations are there from set A to set B. If A has, suppose if it has x number of elements, it has y number of elements. So it will be two to the power of x into y. All right. 
okay then so next chapter is okay it's already said. let's give the introduction of functions what do you say anybody has to book uber and all no no one all right sunshine you want to book uber I repeat huh? it book over all right probably sir How many of you have finished functions? School, yeah, that's what. Then started finished also. Started. You finished. What is function? What is function? What is function? What is function? One. Sleeping in class. You don't get time in your home to sleep, right? See, that's what happens when you eat rice in the morning. Taking rice product, take some fruits, take some green vegetables. See, whose problem it is? Okay, okay. The function. First, first thing that I'm going to write is function is a subset of relation. Okay, this is very important. Function is a subset of relation, and this is what we are going to prove in next class. How it is, how we will understand it, why it is a subset of Relation. Okay. Function also will use pictorial diagrams exactly as same as we'll have domain, we have range. Okay. So function is usually written as f. Okay. F or suppose if there are more than one function, so we'll represent it by g, h, phi, theta, psi, like that. So suppose y when when we are saying y is a function of x. Okay. This this is all real variable. What we are studying is real variables. Okay, so when we are saying y is a function of x, that means what? What does it? Mean? So let's say there are two sets, so x and y, number of elements, x and y. So these, and uh, we define a function from. Now we will write f. We don't write r. R was relation. Okay, x uh, f is what function, simply. So this this is what is f of x. Y is equal to f of x. Like you are writing the quadratic equation. Right? I'm I'm just going to give you examples. I'm not going to elaborate the sets in terms of sets. Okay, I'm just going to give you a few examples of functions. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, this is how we write functions in general. Now, see, uh, this is a and b. So what is the domain here? Domain is x, right? Domain is x. That's what we have studied. That's what we have studied, right? In relations, what we have studied, the this, whatever is defined here is the domain, right? And whatever is here, the image of x that is called your range is exactly same. Domain range. Range will be f of x, or that is equal to y. All right. So, in uh, like you have you write a quadratic equation, right? Example, I'm taking. I'm just taking examples. Don't note it down. Don't don't wait. You start noting it down from next class. Okay, I'm just giving you some introduction. Like you are writing quadratic equation that you can find the roots in ten minutes, right? X square plus three x minus one. Let's say this. So, what is this? This you solve is equal to zero, right? In quadratic equation, that's what you have done. This is the equation because we are putting a zero, uh, like equal to sign, right? And this part is just called expression, right? I have, hopefully uh, everyone knows that right? the difference between equation and expression. All right. So instead of writing it zero, I am just fixing it with a variable that is y, right? Y is equal to x square. See there, y is equal to x square plus three x minus one. Now, if y is you have solved, if y is equal to zero. Till now you have solved this. 
right? You have done this thing, right? Okay. Now this is also function of this. We write function and we read it as function of x. Okay. Function of x. This this we read like this. All right. What function? Function of x. Is this thing clear? This is how we read it. That's what we are writing. Now if x is equal to zero, can we find the value of y? Y at we write y at x is equal to zero. So we just substitute instead of x, we will substitute zero. So this is zero square plus three into zero minus one. So you will get minus one. Understood? If we want to find f of one, okay? Because this is a given function. Here this function is given. Okay? So we'll just substitute one. So one square plus three into one minus one. How much? How much? Four. Huh? Eight. This this guy said four. Who said four? You have four eyes. Sorry. I'm not not making fun. I'm just trying to make everyone laugh. Understood how we how we what a function is. And similarly, we are going to represent this on a curve. Yes, it is a, obviously it's a polynomial. I'm just giving you an example. It can be a quadratic function. It can be a modulus function. Different types of function we will study. So when we are writing in terms of real variable x and y, we only define functions. Okay, we cannot define uh, a relation. We, the relation will see the difference between what was the difference between relation and function. How you can directly find. Uh, if I'll just give you y is equal to some variable, and uh, you can tell whether it is a function or a relation. So that those things also we can will do that, and will all always obviously we are going to see all the graphs. Okay, like example, just five polynomials. Is that okay? Like uh, I'll just take an example. Uh, it's not a problem, so I'll write example. Okay. Why again? I'll take just a quadratic equation. Okay, do you guys know modulus function? Have you studied that? No, modulus is the absolute value, function, right? So, you have studied uh, straight line equation of straight line. Can anybody tell me y is equal to mx plus c? How do you plot this? How do you plot it? In, because you have two planes, you have two variables, so you can plot opposite the x and y, right? So, this is how you might have studied. I'll just I'll just show you and you'll realize that you have studied this. Thing. Okay, so this is your c. So we'll write in terms of coordinates zero c. Okay, m is the slope. Where you have studied it in your ninth standard in your physics you have studied what? A t plus u. Remember, remember this thing. So that time we take this as t and this as uh yeah velocity right velocity x remember so that u that is the initial velocity that that is c okay so this is the equation of straight line anyway we are going to study straight line in details because we have a chapter of straight line okay so we are just we just will see the examples how to plot these things okay now see this is y y is equal to mx plus c okay now let's take another example So this is y and this is x. So how do you plot y is equal to x? It's very simple, right? For whatever the value of x, for the same value of y will be there. So if x is equal to two, y will be equal to two. That means some point here. If x is equal to zero, y will be zero. See, in a graph, you need only two points to draw a straight line. Straight line, not any curve. Straight line, you need only two points. So this is obviously a question of straight line. So if x is equal to three, y will also be equal to three. That means it is it will pass from the origin, okay. And similarly, if x is equal to minus one, y will also be equal to minus one. You can see here, right? Whatever the value of x you will put, you'll get the same output value, okay. That means what? Function. Function is like just some input, and there is a function, the black box, and you are getting an output. 
and here we are defining y is equal to x. Okay, that's as simple. As. Relation is something like this, but relation has a bigger domain. Okay, and that's why we are saying function is a subset of relation. Okay, function is little specific than relation. Okay, we, we are going to study that in our next chapter also. So a straight line y is equal to x you can plot. Now can you plot y is equal to modulus of x? Do that. Do it yourself. See same method. You use same method for just put x different values. See whenever you are putting like that, put x is equal to zero. Put one negative value. Put one positive value. See what you are getting uh, y. I'll just drop a hint here. Okay, this is y is equal to f of x. No, let's write here. Let's use the correct bracket for this. Obviously, these are examples we are going to study this in details. Okay. So if x is equal to one, what is the value of y? Huh? What is the value of y if x is equal to one, right? So if x is equal to one, y is equal to x is equal to zero. What is the value of y? Zero. That means this point. If x is equal to minus one, what is the value of y? One, because it's a modulus function. Anything you put in, it will give a positive value. That means one, it is going from here and it will go from here. So this is your modulus function. So this is called f of x. Y is equal to f of x. Okay. What? What? No, 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 no. Instead of modulus, see, this is equal to f of x. Y is defined as f of x. f of x that means function of x. That means y depend on x. Y depend on this right is. On x, y is dependent on x. That's what the meaning of f of x is. Got it? All right. Let's do one more graph, shall we? The quadratic equation, obviously. So y, the the simplest quadratic equation is y is equal to x square, right? Y is equal to x. So this is y. This is x. So if we put x is equal to zero, what is the value of y? Zero. If you put x is equal to one, what is y? One. If you put x is equal to minus one, what is y? One. If you put x is equal to two, what is y? Four. If you put minus two, what you are getting? Four. So it's a curvature, something like this. Okay. So this is the function f of x. That is y is equal to x square. Okay. Now you are finding if you put x, y is equal to zero. So you get values of x, right? That's what you have solved in quadratic equation. So what you get? Zero. Here you will get zero and zero. It's two roots. That means only one root, common root. You are getting zero. See, y will be zero at x equal to zero, right? Now y is equal to x square minus one if I do find the root. What will be the roots? What will be the root of this equation? For in, in quadratic equation, if we put x square minus one is equal to zero. So x square is equal to one. So x is equal to plus or minus one, right? That means this graph. See, this is plus one. This is minus one. The meaning is that this function f of x is zero at these two points. So that is the root of the equation. That's what you have been finding so far. The quadratic equation. Okay. Understood this thing? So this is just the introduction of real variable functions. Okay. In next class, that is tomorrow, we are going to study in terms of sets, in terms of sets, and how to write of uh, uh, domain, co-domain, and range of this function, and also we'll see some more examples, and we'll solve problems based on functions. Okay, understood this thing? See, we will learn how to plot graph. Okay, without graph, I don't want to see anyone in class. Okay, because that's the basic basic thing that we should know, which we are not taught in when we are in the standard mostly. You should, we should be knowing these things. Okay, so don't worry, we'll study everything and we, I'm very much sure that half of the problems you can solve using graph after, after we learn the graph, how to plot the graph, okay? All the questions from domain range, it will be like this. All the variables that we have studied, uh, trigonometric functions, time and cost and, okay, cosine, how the graph will look like. What is the meaning of that graph? We'll study those things. 
n function. So function is going to be a little longer, not uh, as usual your book. Because in book, I think it will end up, it's a very short, I think one exercise. Is better, right? But function is really important to understand calculus. This is a part of calculus. Now see how whole mathematics is doing. Right now we studied number system. From there we came to alge algebra of sets, right? So algebra of sets, in that we have we are studying this is how uh, the calculus is related. So calculus is a subset of uh, algebra. This everything is related. It's not like mathematics. This part of mathematics is separate. Like we have separate things. calculus, is different algebra is different. We are going to use everything everywhere. Now get out. You are listening to stories. I keep telling stories. Huh? Okay, my is Okay. Understood or not? Everything you are getting from us, other is random. I have to say I gave a book. If you have any set B, right? This is A, this is B, right? And this is this is complete. So B phi does not exist, right? So phi is everywhere. So if you take uh, now now phi is a subset of B, right? So you can write phi is a subset of B. So if you take intersection of phi and B, what is it? Phi and it's right like that. Phi is a subset of B. So if this is B, phi is suppose here. Phi is everywhere because it's a null set, right? So intersection, if you take intersection of these two, what you will get? That's for phi you will get. What is it? Yeah, anyone else who solves this problem in 